Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Today is a historic moment as Indian Navy pilots carried out the landing of LCA Navy on newly commissioned aircraft carrier INS Vikrant. This was an attempt to demonstrate India's capability to design, develop and construct and operate indigenous aircraft carrier with indigenous fighter aircraft. In a way, it has proven the capability of both INS Vikrant and LCA Navy. The LCA Navy NP2 was the aircraft that was used to demonstrate this capability. With this note, we'll be discussing today in depth about the naval LCA, its prototype developed and its future role. So tighten your seatbelt while we take you through the amazing journey of LCA Navy. LCA Navy, as we all know, is India's first indigenous effort to build a carrier-borne naval fighter aircraft. The program faced initial hurdles in development as Air Force version of LCA was being converted into the naval version. The major modification which includes strengthening of airframe structure, undercarriage to absorb shocks of carrier takeoff and arrest recovery, drooped nose section for better visibility, landing gears, modification of fuel system, addition of aerodynamic aspects, software control, etc. The naval LCA program commenced in 2003 and the first prototype which is called LCA NP-1 twin-seater trainer made its maiden flight from HL Airport in Bengaluru on 27th April 2012. This was a significant milestone in the history of Indian aviation in designing a naval variant of fighter aircraft. As a part of the carrier compatibility test, the NP-1 completed its maiden flight at shore-based test facility in Goa on 20th December 2014. Again, on 7th February 2015, the second prototype of single-seater naval LCA, which is NP-2, flew her maiden flight from HL Airport in Bengaluru. However, in December 2016, the Indian Navy pulled out of the naval LCA program, citing overweight and inadequate thrust-to-weight ratio. Tejas did not meet the thrust requirement to take off with full fuel and arms load from an aircraft carrier's deck. However, ADA decided to continue the development to attain technical maturity and expertise. The various technical know-how learned from Naval LC program were to be taken forward for TED-BF development. Now, these includes the understanding of carrier interface, carrier suitability, launch capability from ski jump at 14 degree angle takeoff from a distance of just 200 meters or even less the recovery phase of aircraft aerodynamics and flight mechanics expertise etc etc in january 2020 the naval lca successfully carried out takeoff and landing from ins vikramadit a series of arrested landings and takeoffs were conducted from INS Vikramadit, where both the prototypes were able to successfully land on the carrier by using its arrestor hook to snare steel wires spread across the deck of the ship. This allowed fighters to deaccelerate from approximately 244 kilometers per hour to a stand still in approximately two seconds in a distance under 90 meters within the length of deck of the INS Vikramaditya. Now, HL has started the fabrication of NP-5 twin-seater trainer with significant learning and feedback from NP-1 and NP-2. While NP-1 and NP-2 was an Air Force fighter jet converted into naval variant, NP-5 is being designed especially for Navy and that's why it is more important and critical. Therefore, a lot of improvements and better performance can be expected from NP-5. The development and testing of NP-5 will be crucial for development of landing gears and other technologies for TED-BF. The fabrication of NP-5 is nearly completion and we have seen last year the video of NP-5 coming out of its assembly line to another section of LCA division of HL facility in Bengaluru. Now, the Naval Project Officer at Bengaluru which was initially set up to coordinate the LCA Navy program, is now monitoring the TED-BF progress. Even though Navy has officially pulled out of the Naval Thesis program, but it seems to be quite interested in NP-5 development. On 22nd August, 
senior Navy officials visited ADA Bengaluru. A similar visit was made by Navy's senior officers a couple of months back. At present, Indian Navy has two aircraft carrier and more than 40 MiG-29K aircrafts. Each aircraft carrier can approximately carry 20-25 aircrafts, which means that Navy's shore-based squadron could be moved to Vikrant. This provides an excellent opportunity for Naval Tejas as it can quite easily supplement the fighter jet required at shore base squadron. While Naval Tejas cannot operate with a maximum payload while operating from aircraft carrier deck, it can carry its max payload when operating from shore. While operating from aircraft carrier as well, Naval Tejas can carry two Derby and two R-73 missiles and it fits into the lift as well. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.